Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, March 1st, 2020. Before we get started, I want to share a little bit of sad news with all of you. Yesterday, my father passed away. My dad has been suffering with illness for the last couple of years, and it was his time to go. And yeah, I thought about taking today off, but my dad had an incredible work ethic, and he never let anything get in his way. And I want to, I want to carry that on. And I also want to say this. When someone passes away that we love, we, we lose a piece of ourselves. There is no doubt about that. And we carry that for the rest of our lives. But my dad was a kind of person who would go so far out of his way to help other people. And that's what carries on. It's not what we do for ourselves. It's what we do for others that matters. And, and, and that is what continues even when we pass away. And that's another reason why I'm here doing this video right now. Um, anyway, with that out of the way, that's uh, that's it. That's the way it goes. All right. So anyway, let's let's talk about these uh, these markets here, people. Um, as we all know, this market was it was a bloodbath this week. Um, I can't say it was not expected. We all knew it was coming, no doubt about that. Um, I would like to say here that I kept all of you on the right side of this market. And uh, I think because of my actions and what I explained to people prior to this, uh, this meltdown this week, I've, I've done some good in the world and I hope that makes my father proud, truly. Um, give me a second. Anyway, so, so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go forward. This coming week here, um, I would not be surprised to see this market try to rebound. As you all know, nothing goes down in a straight line. Uh, during the last crash, the one before that and the one before that, going back to 1929, you know, the market will go down, it'll bounce, down, bounce, down. Um, and again, what, what we should be focusing on here is not really the stock market. Sure, if you're a trader, if you're an investor, if you have cash in this market, it makes a bit, it's big, it's huge. But by understanding that there are big, there's a bigger aspect of this market that we need to be focusing on like a laser, well, that'll tell us where things are going. So I believe the markets are going to try to rebound here. Uh, if, if we don't get a rebound, let me put it, another perspective on this. If we do not bounce tomorrow, the next day, earlier in this week, we can expect a worst case scenario to unfold very rapidly in this market. I'll cover that in a second. But again, going back to the debt market, people, I'm going to tell you again, every asset here derives value from what it, it happens in the debt market. We have a, a debt market that is a nightmare. It is a nightmare of epic proportions. And the fact that the yield curve is cratering has been dropping since way before the coronavirus explains to us that our economy is in free fall. It's just a matter of time before our, our economy, which is failing, and the stock market we're going to meet. How many times have I said that? And I've showed, I've actually demonstrated the same thing to you, all of you, over and over again. The job of the market is very simple to determine fair value. The stock market, actually every single asset right now is so twisted and so distorted because of the fakery and the rigging that is going on in the debt market since Barack Obama, okay? President Trump took over the reins, has made it much, much worse. I really thought the guy was gonna fix it. So what he said during the campaign, uh, that the Fed was faking the market, the Fed was artificially suppressing rates to make Obama look good, but all weekend, 
The president has been calling for more, more support from the Fed and negative rates. Understand. Understand when you hear that, you know who the man works for. Because the more debt a central bank is allowed to issue or called to issue, the stronger they become. They don't become weaker. People who don't understand central banking think the opposite. They're like, oh, the Fed is issuing more debt. They're becoming weak weaker. No. This is what they want to do. Every world central bank exists for one reason, to issue more debt, period. <laughs> um, so get that through your head. And the Fed will become stronger uh, once they cut rates. And, and rate cuts are coming, people. Don't just listen to Greg Manorino, who told you from weeks ago, that the Fed's going to cut rates. You've got Goldman Sachs, the mega bank, the super bank of Wall Street, the, the super criminal bank on Wall Street saying we're going to get three cuts. I happen to agree with them, but I said it first. I said multiple cuts were coming. No doubt about it. And it's not just rate cuts that are coming here. The Fed is going to pump more debt into this market. They're going to use the coronavirus as an excuse to issue in their final solution. All the world's central banks are going to take advantage of this. Believe me. And who's going to get destroyed? You are. If you're a mem member of the middle class, people bet against this debt and become your own central bank. I've been telling you this since day one, over a decade ago. Now, I want to talk more about this, this precipitous drop here in the market and why the potential is so great for much larger losses here. I covered on Friday why stocks fell from, from an all-time record high to a 10% plus loss in the fastest or the shortest period of time in history. We've never seen a drop like this. This is the biggest. Um, it's because of margin calls. Um, and again, a lot of these calls, yeah, have been covered. So that might be a reason why we, we could get a, a bounce in this market. But if this bounce doesn't play out to be a rebound where stocks go back higher, we're going to get more margin calls. You're going to see stocks fall harder. You're going to see other assets fall along with them. Yes, gold, silver, cryptocurrencies could fall under pressure because of margin calls. And, uh, you know, that presents opportunity too. Uh, it really does. If you see this market bleed off hard, again, let's say, let's say we get a rebound in this market early this week and then all of a sudden stocks drop. And I will keep all of you on top of it, I promise. Um, there's going to be opportunity there because I would expect to see gold, silver, platinum, palladium, cryptocurrencies uh, sell off um, a little bit because of margin calls. Margin debt, the amount of capital that, that people have borrowed to participate in the fake market is at an all-time record high. The potential for these people to lose more than their investment is extreme. So they're going to want to cut those losses very, very quickly. They're going to and cover them. So you, that's why you're going to see stocks fall uh, hard and or have the potential to see stocks fall hard again. Metals fall again. Cryptos fall. It, it's just it's so simple. If once you understand the dynamics of the market and how it works, you know where to look and you know where the opportunities are. OK, so. So what we are going to do, you and me here, is number one, if we get a bounce in this market, if you're one of my lions here and you see a bounce in this market, I, in no way should you be going all in on, oh, the market's going to rebound. Oh, the market, sure, the market probably will. Probably is the key word. So you want to be very cautious here and never risk a single dime in this market more than you are willing to lose. Sure, we are speculators as lions in this market and we, we got to take risk to make cash. But I want you to be cautious here and I want you to focus on the debt market. People, the 10-year yield, we hit several historic lows this week. The 30-year, several historic lows, historic lows. We have an inverted yield curve that is dropping. This is massively stock market negative. And then we're getting calls for more debt. The yield curve is dropping on its own. Rates, rate cuts in theory, in theory will help the market. But understand, this is in theory. None of this has been uh, vetted 
before. This is where no man or no woman has gone before. And in my opinion here, and we'll end this video kind of kind of soon because it's getting long. In my opinion here, <laughs> debt is the problem. Debt is not the solution. So when you have a world leader, a sitting president saying, we need more debt, we need to cut rates, you have to, what's going through their head? Do they not understand central banking or are they playing for the central banks? Because again, people, central banks want to issue more debt. This is a multi-decade plan. I mean, decades in the working, in the, in the making here, where central banks want to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. They want to own everything. Who are they sucking it from? The middle class. The middle class. So if the Fed becomes the lender and buyer of last resort, who's the borrower? It's you. It's you. It's the American people. It's the people of the world living under the hideous rule, rule of world central banks. People, we can't win. We've already lost. We've lost this battle a long time ago. We let it happen to ourselves. The petrodollar, the fiat monetary system is going nowhere. Nowhere. And you can go back to again when this whole thing started. You can see how many decades ago this ball started rolling. And right now, the central banks are moving higher up that pyramid. Higher up. Where they are, they are gazing down at, 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 at the throngs of slaves that they've that they've created, the nation's slaves that are indebted to these banks. And there is no way out. I don't care what you might think. I don't care what you might hear. Trust me on this one. Very few people on this planet, not even the president of the United States, I'm going to say it right here, understands these markets like the way that I do. He's admitted it many times. He's not a market guy. He's a real estate guy. And I'm telling you, I know the markets exponentially better than the president of the United States uh, did, did he has really, I mean, it's that simple. I don't know another way to put it. All right, people, look, that's pretty much it. Long, long video here. Uh, this guy loves all of you. And um, the only thing I would say to you in closing here is if you could keep your dad, his name is Joseph, in my thoughts, in your thoughts today, he'll be in mine. Uh, and in your prayers. We do go on, people. All of us do. And um, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go off anymore. Love you all. I will see you in the morning.